everyone, Sue Sparkle here. I'm here today to show you one of my portfolios. Now this is the smallest of the portfolio. Um, firstly, we'll have a look at what is in my portfolio and then I will show you how I put my canvases in there. Okay, so this is the first one. Now this is the first diamond I, I ever um, had a go at. Uh, I cut off the um, border and I sometimes will um, keep the edges and the size for reference so I know what I've got in there. So you have your colour and your size and sometimes I do a picture otherwise I will write it on the back so that I, and then I just keep those so this one's a peacock. It is only a partial, so it is only the peacock itself. Once I've cut the border off, I use a tape or I do have some adhesive spray um, that I got from Officeworks, which I will link down below uh, for paper and artwork. And then I will put... Um, if I'm using the tape, I will put on a small picture, probably two strips across this. Um, before I put that down, I will put my canvas down minus the washi tape and the tape underneath it. And I will just position it as to where I want it and put the tape down. I usually just mark it with a pencil on the corners put the tape down then put your canvas down and try and line up your pencil mark so I'll probably start from the top and roll it back and just get it lined up there <coughs> pardon me then I put my washi tape all around it so that was the first diamond painting I ever did This was probably the second. I'm not sure whether you can see that or not. These are the pandas. This also is a partial. Exactly the same. Um, these are the diamonds in the middle here. No diamonds around that section. Uh, line it up with your black paper that comes with these plastic covers so you line it up mark the corners this one would have had three pieces of tape across there double-sided tape or as I said you can use the adhesive spray then I would start from the top and bring it down pressing it as I come and lining it up with these sections here and then the washi tape around it. Um, this next one is an owl. And of course these were all snack paintings. Because I wanted to see if I enjoyed it enough to keep carry on. So that's an owl hanging onto a pendant there. This one is... So the owl was a full diamond painting. This one is a, a full diamond painting as well. Kookaburra. Probably only took two pieces of tape on that one. And then the washi tape around it. Uh, the lion is partial. The green around is not diamond painted. And um, that's quite pretty too. Now, we had a collie dog on the farm. His name was Jock. And I did this one, um, just a small one, just to get used to the uh, diamond painting. Now, all of these are round drills, by the way. Here we go, getting into a bigger one. Wasn't very happy with this. To me, it seemed very dark. It's the nativity scene. So here's Mary with the baby. Uh, you've got, I don't know whether you can see with the glare, 
two angels, um, a camel, and Joseph by her side there. That again was a round, so I just put that in there. And this one here, bring it down a bit, is a lighthouse um, on a very, very uh, turbulent water. Lots of waves. Um, not particularly keen on this one. Um, didn't like the pink that you can see in the water. Just thought it was a bit too much. Um, but that's the lighthouse there. Now today I'm going to show you how I do this. So I'm going to move this one out the way. I will be using double-sided tape. And I'll pop this over the other side here. So that's my small portfolio. My next video I will show you my larger portfolio. And I do have quite a few things hanging up. All right, here are just a few things that are going to be going into the small um, portfolio. This one is the Northern Lights. I don't know whether we can see that or not. That is also a round. Two kookaburras. Which I did put a few ABs in their feathers here. And a few in the um, flowers on the branch of the tree. That's another round. This my grandchildren bought me. And it is a partial. Very colourful. The black is not diamond painted. So as I said before, I cut out the sides, which I'll show you here. Pop those two over there. So I've already taken off three sides of this. I'm going to use my scissors. I did try using a rotary cutter to do this. And just come in as close as you can. You will find that the you don't want to cut the drills um, and your scissors you have to keep pulling them back because they will get sticky on the canvas. So I just work my way up there. Doesn't matter if there's a bit of white showing. Um, that just keeps those drills in place. All these canvases that I'm showing you have been straightened and they have been rolled and sprayed. So this, I'll just cut that. I partner it up with... I don't need, actually, I don't need that one as well. I've already got one here. So this was for Northern Lights. And I just put a staple in the top there. And then I put those away. So here it is. As I said, it is only a small painting. Uh, we take our sheet. And it's up to you which way you want to put it on your page. This way will not fit, so it's going to have to go side on. So I line it up. I do try and measure this a bit. Let's have a look how I've got it here. So we're looking at that side so I need to bunch it up there a little bit it's just you can be as rough with this as far as measuring goes or precise it's really up to yourself how you um, do this so we've got five come back a bit 
So it can be a little bit fiddly if you want to do it accurately. But that looks pretty good. Three and a half. That looks pretty good. Okay, now I get a pencil, which I'll get it out of my cupboard. And what I just do is I mark that corner. You're not going to see these marks um, once you um, put your washi tape around it. Okay. All right. Now I take my tape and we find the end. And again, this doesn't have to line up. Take one piece. You don't have to peel anything off the back. And I find my marks and just lay that down across there then i'll take another piece cut it and lay this one there was a mark there and a mark there i'll probably put this one right there and just press that down then we peel this back and I can get hold of it and take that top paper off. Same with the piece at the bottom here. Just try and lift it a little bit. If it doesn't come off this side, you can always get it from the other end a little bit of persuading peel that off now with such a little one um, I try and hold it hover over the top with it I'm going to put on another light I can see my marks a little bit better. Now we have one up here, one there. I think I've got my shadow in this a little bit. Just a little bit out on one side here. Press that down. You have got a couple of minutes to just mess around with it a little bit. You haven't got very long, but because you don't want to rip that paper. Okay, so just press that down and this canvas did have creases in it so hopefully it stays set down pretty flat. Now you could use a roller to roll that. We're just going to use this type of roll of tape just to flatten it out a bit more. I have got rollers, but I don't want to knock this tripod while looking for them. So just like that. Okay, now your washi tape. I have picked this blue 
and there is a drill there that's come off so we'll look for that after if you think that it's not still sitting properly just very very easily peel this back to about there To me, or you can pull it straight off. To me, it's not sitting straight. That looks better. Again, just pop it down. If you have something like this, corner sticking up, just take a little bit of more of the tape. We can find it. Tiny piece. Sorry, I knocked the camera then, I think. And put that under there. Then peel it back. And put that corner down so that's all we have to do now there is a couple of jewels that have come off I will sort that out later I think I've got three four drills there that have come off so we will sort that out later it helps if the canvas is flat that doesn't always happen when you get canvases from different places this canvas came from Wish. Now the washi tape I've picked is this uh, blue one. Another drill there. And we're going to see if we can find the end. Hope this doesn't look too wide on it. And all I do now is place that down up against the drills. Work your way along, getting it up to the edge. And we're almost there and laying that down and this just gives it a bit of a border and then I just get the washi tape which peels off quite easily by the way and just do a straight line across there because I'm going to be coming along the bottom and across the top and down this side with the washi tape so we'll do another one just to show you so hopefully the washi tape is reasonably straight at that end now my arm is going to be in the way for a minute while I'm just lining this up Uh, it's quite a, a wide washi tape that we're dealing with here. And we've got a crease, so that's easily taken out of there. Lay it down. Give it a press. Bring it down to the end. Right there, and then we cut this to level it up. Now I hope you're able to see all this. 
so that's what it will look like with the border around it as I said I've probably chosen a large uh, border if you find that it it is too close all you do is you peel that back I was just looking then it was sort of puckered up okay we've got a few little puckers here so i'll see if i can get those out again it's very easy to work with washi tape and i'll get my nail and i just run it down there again we've got a corner that is sticking up so I will use a bit more of the paper, just cut a piece off and then here we're going to put this in there. Sometimes they um, stick down quite well with just the two pieces. Um, this is different, this backing on this canvas. All right. So bring it out and push it down. Okay. I don't know why these drills are popping off. Sometimes these cheap canvases, they just do that when you're um, doing a lot of fiddling around with them. And as I said before, before, uh, because this canvas was creased it just does not want to sit properly we might end up putting another piece on this corner usually there's not much uh, of this messing around doing this job um, think because the canvas itself is creased um, we're having trouble with it sitting down as flat as I'd like to get it so I'm adding more pieces of this tape so if I just get this up There's one piece, get this one up, there goes a nail, okay that's a lot better, okay so can you see what I've done there, I've actually put some little pieces on the corner so this canvas should sit a little bit flatter um, on the cardboard it's it's really not cardboard it's only thin paper um, so that's why it's um, not sitting uh, if it was on cardboard I might be able to get this a little bit flatter but um, unfortunately it's not I'm going to put that piece in there, peel it back, now that my thumbnail has come away, it's a bit harder to get the paper to start working, to start pulling it off, but I'll get there. okay i'm quite happy with that now it's a lot better so again we'll get the tape i'll do the end first and we hope we've got enough when we do these jobs i'm going to pull that up a bit so i can see Mm 
that's not very straight so I'll see if I can get that straighter what's going on here it's stuck it's not quite to the edge I just want to cover up that white paper showing or the white canvas, I should say, that's showing a little bit under there. Just making sure that wasn't a drill stuck under there. So... Another crease. Okay. So that's that one. Sorry for the sniffle. All right. One side to go. be in the way for just a second while I get this lined up here and just bring it along so you have to roughly um, guess how much is on your washi tape you don't want to run out part way through doing this otherwise you'd be wasting it you'd have to probably take it off or coordinate it with another color okay I'll try and get the straight line there all right so how does that look so that's how I put my canvases in portfolio um, and as I said this is only snack uh, paintings and um, on another occasion I will be showing you the large portfolio um, which holds 40 by 50s and um, probably if you were to do length ways instead of up and down with your canvases it uh, would take a little bit bigger uh, they're not easy to get the uh, for the bigger canvases the inserts the plastics and the cardboard so we're having trouble getting those at the moment but that's what it looks like finished um, this here will be one that goes into the bigger portfolio this is a Chinese junk Again, it's been sprayed, uh, it's been straightened, and the, it's had the edges all cut off. So this one is a little bit bigger, so it will be going in the bigger portfolio. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget when you've finished um, cutting the edges to just clean this off with a bit of, uh, I used eucalyptus oil and a tissue. Because your scissors do get quite gummed up. Alrighty. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. And we'll see you again soon. Hopefully very soon. And everybody have a good day. Stay safe. Love to you all. Bye.